Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Miss Fierce here. Um, if guys, if this is your first time on my channel, please do me a favor, like and subscribe, smash that notification bell. Um, but yes, if you've been here before, thank you for tuning in once again. Now, today's video, um, what I want to do is just show you guys my my my, my rules based um uh, analysis. Basically, what I'm saying is I usually trade based off specific rules. I don't just enter the market. I have specific rules that guide me um, in my decision making to enter the market. So let me just highlight them quickly. Um, and you can borrow from this um, as well for your own analysis. So what the first thing is I look at the directional bias. So here in this case, I'm definitely looking at the higher time frame. So higher time frame. So you can choose whatever higher time frame works for you, whether you're a scalper, day trader, intraday trader, swing trader, position trader, you look for the directional bias on the higher time frames. Um, so higher time frame. In my scenario, I like to look at the weekly. If you guys follow me, you know that in the eight hour. Sometimes I look at the four hour, but I'm finding I like the eight hour a bit more. Um, so the first thing, so what rules, rules based trading. Now, guys, I'm just giving you an idea of how I, I, I trade. I have a rules based trading policy or you can say algorithm, whatever you want to call it, fancy names, just the same thing. Um, so the first thing, look at the directional bias. Um, second thing I do, still on the higher time frame, I look for structural breaks okay, and identify them. And then on the, the next, I then also, so I'll do the structure, look for structural breaks, both of the higher time frame and the lower time frame. So I'll do, let me just, um, so technically I'm looking for structural breaks on the higher time frame, but I'll also dial it down to the lower time frame. So I'll probably look at maybe the one hour um, and the five minutes. Okay. Now, over and above that, then I'll now start planning my entry trigger. Okay. Um, and my entry triggers will be based off against structural breaks as well as um, price action. So I'm going to be looking at the price action, especially on the very lower time frame. So the five minutes, sometimes even two minute um, time frame. Um, Cause basically I enter on the five minute. If I'm looking at the eight hour uh, time frame, four hour, I'll be looking at my entries on the five minute. Now this is just me. Some people will look at the one hour as the entry. Others will look for, you know, for me, I just like to refine my entries a bit. Um, because I'm also trying to look at um, minimizing my stop loss uh, parameter. So I look at the price action. So definitely you're looking at um, candlestick, candlesticks, what's happening. That's what we mean by the price action. What's the candlestick chart telling you? Um, so maybe you're looking for bullish engulfing, you're looking for the, the doji candles and stuff like that. And I'll also be looking at structure breaks, okay? Um, and possibly retests, okay? I like to enter on the retest. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's basically it. And then I'll definitely then uh, highlight my parameters, my entry parameters in advance, okay? So I will not enter the market before I know where I'm entering the market and where my stop loss is and where my take profit is. And the final thing, okay, is I will also, um, what's the fifth thing? So highlight my entry parameters. That is the EP, let me just write that. EP, TP, SL. Um, what's the final thing? Anyway, I think I'll, I'll remind our uh, final thing, final thing. I'll remember, I'll remember. So basically, this is these are the rules, right? These are my rules. I go on the higher time frame. I look for structural breaks on the high and lower time frames. And then my entry triggers will be based on price action, okay? Um, so thereby looking at candlestick formations, 
structural breaks. I'm looking at retests. And then I'll highlight my entries before. Oh, yeah, the fifth and final important thing is my timing. Now, guys, I only look at the London and the New York session an hour or two before. Okay, that's it. I don't trade in between. I don't do uh, anything past 5 p.m. I don't enter the market before past 5 p.m. GMT plus three, uh, which is in the New York session. Um, the first one or two hours of both the London and the New York session, that's when I get into the market. Now, I know there are people who trade the Asian market. That's fine. But for me, I prefer the daytime uh, because London and New York are during my Kenyan uh, time, daytime. So that's it. So guys, these are my rules that I follow. I must, if anything is missing when I'm looking at my analysis, my timing is wrong. I'm not in the market. If I don't see a price action confirmation, structural breaks, features, I don't enter the market. Um, I don't enter the market on higher time frames. It's always on the lower time frame. I look for my structural breaks on the higher and lower. I look at my directional bias based on the higher, and that will now inform how I trade or what direction I'm taking my trade, even on the lower time frame. So once you have that, so let's say I'm on the weekly, right? Um, my weekly, you know, we are looking bearish, but we kind of took out these lows as a rejection. We are seeing some price action rejection here. We saw a structural break, but then we reversed back into this uh, level. So I'll, um, yes, I'm looking at potentially us beginning to push to the upside. Okay. So yes, we did push up and then we retraced. So price went up. Okay. And then retraced. So if you are to look at it from a basic level, price pushes up, retraces, and then continues. So I'm looking for a continuation to jump in for my buys, right? Because for me, I'm bullish on the weekly. This is a bit of a retracement, a short retracement, but I'm technically bullish. I mean, we've been bullish on GU since, um, since 16th March, 2020. So I'm generally still bullish on this pair. Nothing has changed. All this I'm just seeing are retracements and we saw like the retracement began around um, Feb of this year. We did retrace and then we came, came back, re uh, retested the previous high and then we started pushing lower. But now what I'm seeing is there was a break of structure. Remember, we're also looking at uh, structural breaks that also tell me a story. Um, there was a break of structure here, okay? Price pushed up, but then came back to the same uh, level again. So what it's telling me is that we're still not maybe likely ready to go down. And I'll only be bearish if I see a retest and continuation price action on the lower time frame. Now, so I'm still bullish, right? Um, let me just clear this. Okay, so we're still bullish, number one. Structural break, I've seen it. Now, for me to confirm the bias to the upside, I probably want to see price push up, retest, and continue. So I'll go on the daily um, just to confirm my bias. So on the daily, you can see the structural break. Remember, we're still looking for structural breaks. So we can see the structural break here that happened, right? Price broke through this and then retested. And this is where we are at. So I'm still not sure, like, are we, I'm not just going to jump into this and start buying, okay? Um, remember, we're on the daily. So this could just be a kind of a, you know, um, retest thing happening, um, maybe go down. But what I'm seeing here is like price pushed up, retested this previous zone here, okay? And now I think we're just going to continue pushing up also because I feel like we have some interesting levels here. I feel like price just took out this uh, liquidity here and now is retesting and continue on its way to the upside. So I'm still bullish, guys, okay? So I'm going on the eight hour and I'm seeing like there's a potential rejection zone here. Um, so we may reject and then continue onwards uh, to the upside. Um, so on my... Higher time frame, guys, I'm still bullish. I'm still looking for buys. So even if I go on the four hour, okay, we are seeing a bit of rejection even with the price action here. We are seeing price um, action has mitigated this imbalance that formed with this drop 
here. And at this point in time, I'm still looking at us continuing to the upside. So I'll go on the five minute. Hopefully we'll be able to go on the five minute. Remember, I'm still bullish. Nothing has changed on that front. So that's all I'm looking at. And when I look at the five minute, because this is what I'm trying to look at my entry. Yes, we have broken structure. Okay. I'm trying to see if I should enter this market anytime soon. I'm looking at the candlestick. I'm looking at the time. It's uh, it's 8.55. So we are nearing the open of the London. A few minutes away. A few away. Um, so really, sorry, I'm just trying to make this. Um, so first of all, there are a couple of structural breaks. We had um, uh, one here, okay? And then we retested and we went pushed up, but then we dropped. Now I'm seeing a nice uh, level here, some price action that happened previously over here. And why I say it's nice action because we are seeing a break of structure to the upside. Price was pushing down. And then we, we, we kind of see um, price breaking out and rallying to the top. So this was a this is a very significant uh, point for me, okay? We are seeing a very, sorry guys, sorry about that, I forgot. So we are seeing a bullish engulfing candlestick formation here, pattern pushing to the upside, confirming a bullish, move to the upside and then what we are seeing after that some rejection up here and then price begins to taper down so my anticipation is that price may just come to this zone here and reject and possibly you know push to the upside now i don't want i don't know if i want to enter now it's still not yet a london session i still want to see what happens yeah, I, I want to, you know, like this is nine pips. I'm not willing to lose nine pips in the market. So chances are two scenarios, price bounces off, which is a high probability trade because price hasn't yet retested this breakout zone. But it could also just break out and push lower. So I would much prefer a lower entry, okay, um, around this zone here. But this could also be a high probability, but I'm not going to be impatient. My timing, New York, not yet. I mean, London um, hasn't yet opened. We are still, uh, it's still 8, not yet 10 a.m. So I'm waiting for the London, okay? Um, so I'm just going to watch this, whatever's happening. Now you see what happened. So if I had put my entry here, I'd probably be very tight, you know? Um, and I don't want such... I don't want, um, you see what's happening, guys, is that, yes, there's a rejection, but we are still seeing um, candlestick formations that are showing me rejection downside, okay? So I'm not yet ready to enter. Now we are, it's about, uh, we are now in the London session. I want to slow this down a bit, okay? So if we break structure here, I'm still waiting for a nice entry, okay? So I'm not yet convinced as yet. So that's the reason why I didn't enter here, guys. Okay, there's liquidity down here. If I'd entered, I'd have been stopped out, okay? And remember, I'm looking for buys. So I'm not looking at sell opportunities. I'm looking to see when can I enter for a buy. I'm not looking at selling this market, guys. I'm looking at buys. So I'm waiting. Yes. So now what I'm beginning to see is what I've been waiting for, right? Um, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay. So price pushed down, okay? And then of course, at this level here, we kind of broke some structure over here, okay? Okay, but for me, I'll be looking at a retest before I enter. Okay, so I'm not just going to jump and say, okay, I'm going to wait and see. Are we trying to break? So there's a nice, interesting um, 
zone here. Okay. So if price breaks out of this level here, okay, where there, we can see these equal highs, this for me is an interesting zone. So I just want to see what happens is liquidity up here. So price is pushing up. Someone else would have been like, okay, could have entered here, could have entered here. But guys, I'm not looking at entering the market prematurely. So what we are seeing is that price has formed some equal highs here. Okay. And is now there's a bearish engulfing candle. So we are still seeing some pressure to the downside. We've kind of failed to break out completely. Okay. So I'm still waiting to in the I'm still waiting, guys. And we all know trading is about waiting. Okay. Now imagine if you had taken this trade here um and thought that this was a bearish engulfing candle and taken a sell you would be in problems okay now i'm looking at break retest continuation okay if i don't see that i'm not interested in jumping in again okay so we've broken structure again now what's the time here now guys my time has passed so i haven't gotten a trade here I'm still waiting. I have an opportunity in the New York session. So um, New York is about almost, so I'm just going to look at this again uh, around this level. So remember, we've missed the opportunity. Um, this could have been a nice entry because we retested this zone, but I wasn't sure. So I'm not looking at trying to take every single trade. I'm looking for high probability trades. And what we are seeing is price is breaking, wants to break structure here. Okay. So it's making for this zone here. So let me just, um, okay. Whether it breaks out or not, you know, we can see it's pushing to the upside, but I'm not in the market. So I'm not really um, thinking about that right now. Okay, so what's happened is we have rejected this level here, which is not no surprise. But we are still, so I'm now looking for potential buy because what I'm seeing is price rally to the top. Okay, and now looks like it wants to um, come lower. Okay, so my potential entry level would be somewhere around here and then i'll put my stop loss at about that's like about six pips so i'm just gonna wait remember i'm just looking at buys whether we get there or not so we are retesting that zone we're not it's not a really deep retest okay so chances are we could actually just blow to the to the top. Let me look at this. Okay, so let's see. So there we go. So now we missed this trade, guys. Okay. Um, but that's fine, okay? This was a shallow retracement. So I was hoping that we could, it would possibly retrace lower. So I have my pending order there. I'm not gonna be in a hurry to just jump into this trade. And you see guys, we've triggered and we are in profit and there we go. Now guys, I hope you've seen what has happened. Let me just pause this. I would have panicked here and tried to buy as we were going up, but guess what? We would have been caught out in this drawdown, okay? And if you look at this, this is what? This is 5.3 pips. So if I got stopped out on this trade, okay, I would have lost five pips, but how much have I gained by now? This is what? This is... This is um, 34 pips. Okay, guys. 
34 pips. If you look at my previous, I posted a video earlier about um, just planning your trades in advance. And you can see right about now, this is actually a, a one of the ways that I actually look at the market and decide that I'm going to enter a trade. This is a clean trade, guys. It tapped my entry and we're in 35 pips in blue. Okay. And you're good to go. Okay. You're good to go. So whatever happens after that, we're still um, consolidating before we continue to the upside. You can push your, your pro trade into profit if you want it at this level, taking up partial profits. But guys, within this trade alone, guys, we made literally 35, 34, 35 pips, okay? Now, I followed my rules, okay? I entered on a retest. I didn't chase the market. I don't chase the market because when, when I see a strong push to the upside, I know there's manipulation. So I'm just waiting for to take out early buyers because guys, GU is buying on the higher time frames. So we are looking for buys. Now, when you see moves like this in the market, you know that um, the market is taking out premature buyers or late buyers. When I say premature buyers, I say buyers who decided to start buying at the top here, okay? You want to buy lower. And as you can see, this is exactly what happened. So directional bias check on higher time frame was going up. Structural breaks we saw on the higher time frame confirming the up bias. Then we came to the lower time frame to look for our entry tr triggers. We could have entered here and actually read in this, but then I didn't see a clear structural break, okay, to convince me to enter. Okay, I didn't see a proper retest as where I'd wanted it to see, um, where I was expecting it. So I waited. And then it came, took out these highs, retraced. And then that's when during the New York session, because now that I missed the London, I was waiting for the New York entry, okay? But then what happened? Price pushed up. I would have panicked and said, oh my God, the trade has already gone and started chasing the market. But I waited for my retest, okay? And then I put my parameters before the retest, okay? Um, and then we see what happened. So I had my stop loss in advance. So guys, this is basically how I look at the market. And I hope that this video has been of value. If it has been, guys, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. See you soon.